Welcome back, guys. You know, today there's something I want us to talk about. Okay, sometimes when we are in relationships, we get into argument, and we want to say hurtful words to um, our partners or the people that we are in relationships with. Sometimes we do not really mean it. Okay, we do utter those words, and then later on we realize that we shouldn't have said those words. Okay, because those words were mean. So it is always appropriate that you just watch your words whenever you get into argument with people, especially your partner. Okay, so today I'm going to show you some words that, as a lady, you should never tell a man. It doesn't matter what the man does, it doesn't matter what he has done to you, you should never try to utter these words to a man because you might not really like what may happen next. Stay with me, be right back. Keep watching and listening to Love Doctor OB for your relationship advice, life goals, and financial tips. All right, welcome back, guys. My name is Baito Bobi. I'm a relationship expert, a financial analyst, a researcher, and most importantly, I'm your friend. You can just call me Love Dr. Obi, and on all social media handles, you can actually find me over there. If you are new on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button down there and don't hesitate to hit the notification button as well. It is an indication that whenever there's a new video, you actually get it before anyone else does it. Now, let's get back into business. Okay, with respect to what I was saying, now the first thing or the first word you shouldn't say to a man is that look at other men you know sometimes when you get into argument and then you just want to say hurtful words to your partner for them to know that they hurt you in a way that you want to retaliate sometimes we just want to compare them to other men and so we utter those words that look at your other men look at fellow men look at other people okay whenever you say this word to a man it hurts him to the core because Men do not want to be compared to other people because they believe everyone has their own strength and capabilities. And so in a way of saying these words to a man, it's a way of bringing him down or not making him a man enough compared to other men. So in as much as you want to just say hateful words to your man, never say he should look at other men because they are doing responsible things or probably good things. Never say those words. The second thing I'm going to talk to you about is that when you say you are not a man enough, Okay, sometimes maybe men have their flaws when it comes to sex or when it comes to other roles they play. Okay, and so sometimes some ladies do keep those kind of things in there and whenever there's an argument, they try to raise that kind of thing. When a man is weak or when a man is not good enough, he knows, they understand their flaws, okay? And they do not want you to directly spit it at their face, tell them they are not men enough. And when you say that, it makes them think low of themselves or see that you think low of them compared to other men. And so it hurts them so much. And so in as much as you want to hurt your man's feeling with regard to whatever he's done to you, don't say to him that he's not a man enough. Trust me, he's not going to like it. You know, the third thing is that men are supposed to be responsible for whatever thing. I mean, take responsibility for their actions and they know it, okay? Every man knows the responsibility that is upon him to take care of. And so whenever there's an argument, never try to say that your man is irresponsible. I know some ladies, whenever they get into a little argument, they are not able to control their temper. They just open their mouth and they call their men irresponsible. I don't like your irresponsible behavior, this irresponsible thing, this irresponsible thing. You are irresponsible, okay? Sometimes the truth hurts though, but there's a way you could utter those words that will mean the same thing, but don't just boldly say you are irresponsible. It hurts men so much, trust me. These words, ladies don't usually utter it out, but sometimes when the argument stirs so much and then they cannot control themselves, most of them call men fools. In our African society, um, most of our mothers do call their men or the, the fathers of their children fools, okay, because of their irresponsible behavior or not being able to take care of the kids, okay. And so growing up, most ladies who were, at that time, daughters, grew up to understand that when a man does these things, then you're supposed to call him, that kind of thing. It doesn't matter what the man has done, Never try to call a man a fool. Never try to call a man a fool. As much as you can, restrain yourself not to call any man. Whether the person is your boyfriend, your husband, your brother, or whatever. 
never call him a fool. You might not like whatever happened. Sometimes men become abusive because of set head forwards. And so resist or restrain yourself from calling any man a fool. You will thank me later. Now, you know, men try so hard to achieve certain things or goals in life, okay? And so when they try so hard and things are not really working, some ladies, when they think they have some accomplishment or they think some of their male friends are really accomplishing or achieving certain things, they just want to um, call their men names. I've seen a lot of people or a lot of ladies call their men failures. Never call a man a failure. Never call a man a failure. It doesn't matter the number of times he's tried and then it's not working. Never call him a failure. Because when men are not giving up, then it means that they know what they are fighting for. And they believe there's definitely a light at the end of the tunnel. And so in as much as you think he's tried hard enough and then things are not really working for him, whether he's not been able to take care of you or for forever, you do not have to call a man failure. Sometimes it brings their self-esteem down and then they might do something stupid that you might not really like maybe hate you or something so no matter what the man does if he tries and fails never give him that name never call him a failure you might not like what happens next okay you know <laughs> for ladies are fond of watching worse okay whenever an argument sometimes when they cannot use their hands they use their mouth okay so they see words that will hurt you that will pierce through your heart but let me tell you that words are like a knife that can pierce through the heart Okay. It touches people to the core and then sometimes they might not be able to get up to their feet because it reflects in their mind almost every day. So the next thing is that never call a man useless. Never call a man useless. You are such a useless person. You are such a useless person. He may not like it. He may raise his hand on you. He may be physically abusive or he may do something you may not like. No man is useless. No man wants to be be looked or termed or classified as a useless person because everyone knows that they're supposed to do something maybe they are not doing their best to your satisfaction but that does not make him useless and so in as much as you think he's not doing his best to support you to support you and your family or whatever never alter the word useless to represent a man he's not gonna like it trust me dear all right you're welcome Okay, the next thing is that this usually might not really be a statement, but men are not really fond of talking so much. They are action people, okay? They do act more than they say. And so when a man tries to say some words or whenever they are uttering their grievances, expressing their grievances towards you concerning any activity or any behavior you've, you've done or wherever you are in argument, we know that, yes, women sometimes they want to, um, I mean, amplify their voice over the men because they know how to talk more than men but when a man is talking never tell him to shut up never tell a man to shut up whenever he's talking or whenever he's also expressing his concern okay you know men do classify various things as disrespectful and that is one thing men are not able to take disrespect and so the thing that you have a father in the house you have brothers that you do respect them and so you should see them as your father, as your brothers, and give them or accord them with that kind of respect you accord your father and your brothers. And so as you cannot tell your father to shut up, so you can't tell me to shut up when I'm speaking to you. You are in a relationship, you are married, but it doesn't give you the audacity to tell me to shut up. You can't just say, babe, can you let me talk? Can you keep quiet and let me talk? That's okay. But shut up. And sometimes it comes with some kind of momentum where it hits the man so hard and he might not be able to control himself. The next thing is that he might hit you or he might do something stupid and later regret. But whichever way, he had already done it and then the consequences might have happened already. So listen to this advice, my ladies. Never call or never tell a man to shut up. Especially in the, in the harsh manner when he's talking to you or expressing his grievances. Thank you. Okay, I know, um, I do not want to say feminist. Okay, some ladies who do understand their standards, who do think what men can do, women can do, who think um, they are equal to men, okay, in all aspects, also sometimes do alter these words. 
when they are talking and the man wants to come inside to say something. Don't talk when I'm talking. That is so rude. You cannot be telling a man like that, okay? Don't talk when I'm talking. Really? I mean, why? Okay, everyone has the right to defend themselves, okay? But to voice it out to a man that don't talk when I'm talking, it hurts men so much, okay? And so don't say those things to a man. Irrespective of how much you want to be heard or you want to put your point across, don't say that. When he comes in, you can say, can you allow me to talk? Can you listen to me? Could you listen to me? I don't say, hey, don't talk when I'm talking. That is so rude. And sometimes the next thing you might hear is, and you know, I don't really um, tolerate abusive relationship, but sometimes you cannot control what a man does when you do certain things. That is why this video is purposely for you guys, okay? So restrain yourself from uttering these words. It's very, very important, okay? Most ladies would have saved themselves from various abusive relationships and kind of beatings and other things if they prevented themselves from saying this word. If you don't use your mouth in the wise way, he will not use his hands in a wise way. And so let us try to listen to all these things. So there are some other words, but this is the very fear that I've got for you guys today. So my ladies, I know sometimes um, what men does do irritates you and you might want to do something that um, pains them, but don't utter these words to a man, okay? You might not really like what happens next. All right, thank you guys for showing up today to listen to this episode as well. So if you are new here on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button down there and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. Okay, so I will see you in the next video. Stay blessed.